Welcome to this four-part series of instructional videos on finding resources in academic libraries. These four videos build upon each other. This is part one, Introduction to Library Resources. By watching these videos and trying out the searches and techniques, you will learn important academic skills. By the end of video one, Introduction to Library Resources, you will be able to find a specific article using the article's title, and find books by the author's or scholar's name. To search for library resources, use Omni. It contains information for over 2 million items at York University Libraries and millions of additional electronic resources, including ebooks and electronic articles. When would you use Omni? when you need to find books, articles, or other resources for your academic work. In your lecture or tutorial group, your professor or TA might suggest an article for you to read, or you might find an article in a reference page. You can find out if the library has access to it by doing a title search in Omni. Let's use this example. Your professor tells you to read this article. It is co-written by Professor Alan Baileystock, a well-known Canadian scholar whose work in the area of bilingualism is widely respected. It is most likely that Professor Baileystock and these other researchers have published a lot over the years. So to get this particular article in the quickest and easiest way, search by the title of the article. Using the title of the journal would be way more complicated. Please note, some of you may be in the habit of using quotation marks around titles. Just be aware that article titles can be very long, and if you make one tiny typo, Omni cannot make a match if you have used quotation marks. Best decide on the side of caution and not use the quotation marks in this case. Let's go to the library website. Type in the title in the basic search box, Bilingualism as a Contributor to Cognitive Reserve. Evidence from Brain Atrophy and Alzheimer's Disease. Great, the item is available through the library. Let's get the full text. If you are off campus, you will be prompted to log in. Use your Passport York information. Now that that's done, we can see that the article is available in PDF and can be downloaded or printed, whatever you prefer. As you can see, searching for an article in Omni is straightforward. Just search by the title of the article. Imagine that your professor or TA did not give you the title of an article or book, but merely said, read this person's work. An author search can be done easily in Omni. Let's get back to the library's homepage. With this search, we will learn more about the resource type and author creator facet limits. To search for books by the important psychologist, Melanie Klein, it's simple. Type in her name in the simple search box. You can use quotation marks here to make your search more precise. So that produces thousands of results. If you only want books, go to the left-hand side of the screen Look for the facet limit resource type and click on books and ebooks. Still a lot. Because Melanie Klein is so famous, many people write about her. To get just the book she wrote, go to the author creator facet limit. Choose Klein Melanie. There are 19 books, which is much more manageable. Scroll through the list. and When you find a book you like, look at the full record. If, for example, you like the title narrative of a child analysis, you can open up the full record and see that the book is currently available in Scott Library. The call number is RJ 499 K52 1961. This number is important, so pin it to your library account or make a note of it somewhere. A call number is a path to locating a book or other resource in the stacks. If you're new to using call numbers, check out this page, How to Use Call Numbers. Before you go to the stacks, make sure you noted the book's information, especially the call number. Now that you have watched this video and tried out the searches, you can find a specific article using the article's title and find books by the author's or scholar's name.
Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Topic search.